and then we're not going to see it or if we do see it it's going to be like a little sliver so we want to ask the patient the last time they had anything to eat or drink preferably we uh, want the patient to be npo for longer than eight hours if I it's an adult didn't have coffee this morning it's not have anything in it but but my gallbladder was chunky right what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now it doesn't matter if we cut some of our liver off because we're not focusing on the liver, right? We're focusing on our gallbladder, so we don't need to have the whole liver in there as well. So we're gonna start off in sagittal. So this is our sagittal gallbladder. It's in the long axis, kind of shaped like an exclamation point. You have your portal vein and then you have your gallbladder. Okay, when you're ready, take another breath in and hold it. So we want to do three pictures through. We want to do our lateral, mid and medial gallbladder and then at mid we're gonna freeze our image well we're gonna freeze for all of them but at mid we're gonna do a measurement of the wall so we want to do the most anterior wall and it should be less than three millimeters if it's greater than three millimeters the wall is thickened um can uh like be pathology where and, does it say the uh the length the length yeah like you mean for the measurement? Yeah. Right here. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Big breath in it, hold it. So we would freeze at our, oh goodness, we would freeze at our lateral, freeze at our mid, and that's where we would do our measurement, and then we would freeze at our medial, and then you can breathe. Okay. And those were all sagittal? Those were all sagittal. Okay. And then we're gonna turn transverse, so the notch is gonna to be towards me. And in transverse, your gallbladder should look like a circle. So we're gonna have the patient take a big breath in and hold it. So the most superior part of our gallbladder is known as the fundus. As we slide down, we have the mid gallbladder, which we're gonna freeze again. You can breathe normal. And then we're gonna measure that anterior wall in transverse. In your clinical setting, you're only gonna have to measure it in either sagittal or transverse, but it's gonna vary depending on your clinical site. So we're gonna have you measure it in both here just so you know how to do it. And then take a big breath in and hold it. Okay, so superior part is the fundus, come down, that's the mid. As you keep coming down, you're gonna get the neck of the gallbladder. So it's gonna be a little bit skinnier here, and that's like the most inferior portion of your gallbladder. So you're gonna do fundus, body, neck. Okay, so that's your whole gallbladder protocol oh, that's in it? Um, supine. Oops. So now we're <laughs> <laughs> So now we have our patient turned to their side, and this is gonna be your left lateral decube. So you're gonna show a sagittal and transverse picture in decubitus. And does anybody know why we show it? in two different positions. To see if anything moves within it. Yeah, so if there's any stones or anything like that, any debris, um, we'll see if it's moving. So take a small breath in and hold it. You can breathe normal. That's it, that long thing? Yeah, that long thing, that's it. And then we can use our TGCs to kind of clear out any of, uh, any like internal echoes. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be your sagittal to cubitus picture. Thank you. And that's going to be your transverse to cubitus picture. Transverse is going to be the circular one. All right. And then you can either have your patient stay in decubitus. Um, if you can't see the CBD, then you can also have them come back supine. Take a small breath in and hold it. So this right here is the main portal vein that we've been looking at. This area just above your main portal vein is your common bile duct. Now we're gonna confirm that by putting color on. It should not fill in with color. Big breath in and hold it. Okay, you can 
So your main portal vein will fill in with color. Um, your hepatic artery will fill in with color. Your common bile duct won't. So remember the portal triad, um, we have three things that are very close to each other, the main portal, hepatic artery, and the CVD. So that's why we're gonna put color on here. So you're gonna do a picture with color, your picture without color, and then we want to measure the common bile duct. We want to be looking in this common bile duct, make sure there's no stones or anything within it. Um, stones are going to look like something echogenic with shadow. Um, some of your patients will have that. If your CBD is really dilated, it shouldn't be dilated. Um, I think the rule, isn't it like an extra uh, millimeter per eight per year? Per decade. Per mm -hmm. decade, yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, if your patient is, um, I don't know, let's just say 70, it should be like seven millimeters. Right. Okay. So even though I'm on my side, you're still like kind of in like my rib region area. Yeah, so remember there's different ways that you can get the same picture. Like you can come over here and then angle that way. You can come down here and angle this way. So, so it just kind of depends on the human. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so usually I'll take a look at the gallbladder. I'll show you guys my little trick. Okay. So go ahead and take a big breath in and hold it. All right, so you have your gallbladder, you're in that like exclamation point view and you're just gonna angle a little bit from that area and then your CBD will come right into view. <sighs> you can breathe normal. So I'm just gonna sit me back here. So looks like an exclamation point, you have your portal and your gallbladder and then you just kind of tweak your probe and lengthen out your portal in that image and then your CBD will lengthen out mm -hmm. as well. Okay, and I'll come around and kind of show you guys how to uh, move your probe. Back. Yeah, it's CBD, right? Mm -hmm. Why do you, you have to be on the, on the lateral left? Decubitus? So she doesn't have to be turned up, but uh, because I just had her in the decubitus position to see the left lateral decube gallbladder, I'm just going to take a look while she's in that position. You can find it in the supine position, right? Yeah, you can also find it in supine. Mm -hmm. Can we show them that? So, like, mm -hmm. you know how Professor John and I sometimes will get the same image, but different uh, ways? So, I'll either, exactly, if my patient's already in this position, then I'll go ahead and grab the CBD. But if the patient's lying supine, then I go, because you want the... You don't want intrahepatic CBD. You want it closest to the pancreas because remember it goes through the pancreatic head, right? So, um, Jess, we lay to find now, and then you, we all know where to find the pancreas, right? Yep. And yes. can anyone tell me what this is right here? That's the pancreas. Mm -hmm. This is the pancreatic head. head. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, right, the CBD goes into through passes through the pancreatic head, right? So, in transverse. Um, that's how I find it. I'll go transverse pancreas, and then I'll follow the portal vein into the um, liver. And again, but it's always gonna be anterior to the portal vein. It never will be posterior. Let me see if I can find it. Either. Yeah, and it might not be able to see, be seen because of her stomach, right? So there's some bowel gas right here, and here's pancreatic head. And there's CBD right there. See it in transverse here? Tiny little circle. Yeah. yeah. And then from there, you know, I would elongate it. Well, how would you um, elongate it? Oh, are you doing it right now? Twisting your yeah. probe. Yep, so you keep your eye on what you're looking at. Right here. And then I just kind of rock my probe back and forth, that, like fanning back and forth over it as I elongate it so you don't lose what you're looking at. Big breath in. You can breathe normal. So see, you don't see like my gallbladder area that I showed you, but we're still producing the same image. It's just another way to get it. Okay, so here's your CBD, and then to double check that that's your CBD with the color on it. Okay. And see in this image too, you, you wouldn't measure down here, right? Because that's um, narrower where you'd want the widest lumen. Okay. We're measuring the lumen, so inside of that CBD. Okay. Mm -hmm. Makes sense? You guys ready? <laughs> and, and last question, does everybody understand when Professor Jenna was saying lateral picture, medial picture? What, what is she said mid and then medial and when she said lateral, lateral, lateral medial. Medial. over here medial so like closer. if 
if I put my probe down and that's your gallbladder, if I'm angling this way, I'm angling laterally on her body. And then you'll get the mid, and then to get the medial, you'll be angling towards the medial so part of her distal, body. So it's not distal, you just got it uh, medial, right? But so distal um, is talking about like farther away from something. Okay. So when we're talking about lateral, mid, and medial, we're talking about in relation to her body. So if we're angling towards her midline, that's the medial, okay. the patient's midline. All right. If we're angling towards the away from the midline, that's going to be lateral. Okay. Does that make sense? Mid is mid just the body, mid yeah. part of your um, So you said lateral, mid. The middle mm -hmm. So the probe is straight up the mid. No, no it's going to depend um, what you're looking at of your gallbladder. So your biggest, widest part of your gallbladder is going to be your mid. So then you'll just, from that area, you'll angle a little bit lateral, like lateral on the patient's body in the gallbladder, and then a little bit medial towards mm -hmm. the patient's body. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so if any patient has gallstones, sludge, polyps, anything abnormal, then of course we take additional images. Even in clinical, if we 